three hundred was a complete labor of love and insane. Like you know, three hundred was. I, w- I, I was a Frank Miller fan for a long time, right? And I, I thought the fr- I thought I would do another. I thought I would do Dark Knight Returns. Frankly, that was the movie I wanted. I still want to do it. I, I always tell everyone like Dark Knight Returns. If I could do Dark Knight Returns, I'd be done with comic book movies. Really? Well, because like. If you've done Watchmen, oh sorry, I'm banging the mic. That's if, cool. if if you do Watchmen and Dark Knight Returns, like for me, your good, your good, your legacy is set. Mm. So, like Batman versus Superman, literally steals a lot of Dark Knight Returns. I'm not gonna say it didn't. It did, but it's still not Dark Knight Returns. So th- mm. I think that's still out there. But I always, you know, for a long time I had that. I had 300 like on my coffee table at my house when I was making TV commercials, you know, and I'd have my friends over, I'd be like, I'm going to make this one day. It's going to look exactly like this comic book. <laughs> and they'd be like, yeah, yeah, you're, 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 sure it is. And uh, yeah, I was having uh, a general meeting with Gianni Nunari, who was one of the producers, and he was asking me about what I like. And he had that graphic novel in his office, oh, wow. like on his table. And I went, well, okay, you know what? If I could do anything, that book right there, I would make that. And he goes, well, what do you mean? How would you make it? And I literally just opened it up and I go, we'd make, we'd film this. We'd film these pictures. It would look like this. And he goes, okay, that's cool. Like, so you're saying you would just shoot the movie and it would look like this graphic novel. I go, that's what I'm saying. And I think, and that's what, but, but at the time we couldn't sell it. We tried, we went around town with it. We tried to, I literally, we went to all the studios, um, you know, they were all kind of, um, kind of like yeah, sword and sandals. Yeah, wasn't it the same time that Troy was being made? It was exactly the same time as Troy. And when we went to Warner Brothers originally with it, they they literally were like, "We have we have Troy, so why would we want this? We have Brad Pitt. Like literally, Brad Pitt is in our movie. What do you? I go, we're going to do something crazy. We're not even going to shoot it outside. And they were like, what? Okay, you're nuts. <laughs> and I go, yeah, we're not going to go for one shot outside. We ended up going for one shot outside for this, when the Persian messengers are coming, that super high-speed shot where the horses are kind of coming over the hill. We shot that outside because we just couldn't get the horses going fast enough. In the, It's the shot right before this, I think. Oh, oh, no, it's this one. That's it. It's that shot. So that shot was the... The horses, that was a high-speed shot we did with Photosonics outside. But that was it. That's like the only shot outside. Everything else is on stage. Because we couldn't get the inside. horses fast enough inside, yeah. yeah. And, we, and it, it was too expensive. That was a low-budget movie, you know, and we couldn't get... 300 was a low-budget uh, movie? Uh, yeah, because we, I mean, we shot it all on stage, 60 days. Like, that's like why there's no director's cut of of watch of 300 is because... We every frame of film we shot is in the. You shot that movie in sixty days. Sixty days, yeah. It was, wow, it was crazy. Yeah, it that's was, insane. It was. We were just. It, we it almost killed us, but it was. It was. It was fun. But yeah, so when we took it to Warner Brothers, they were like, you know, finally. Well, what happened was I did Dawn of the Dead, and then from Dawn of the Dead, uh, I can't, I was supposed to do I Am Legend, right? And I Am Legend was this movie that was at Warner Brothers that they were like, what do you think? And then for some, there was some kind of crazy mix up and they ended up giving that movie to someone else. And then I think they felt bad or whatever. And they said, well, what what do you want to do? And I said, well, I really still want to do 300. <laughs> and so we set, we shot that test shot. There's a, I think it's on the DVD. There's a test shot we did. And they said, okay, if you can make the movie look like that, go, 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 go do it. Was that one of the first movies that was ever shot in front of a green screen? Like basically most of the movie except that one scene? <coughs> Sorry. <coughs> yeah, I don't think it was like, look, green screen photography was like a well-known way to make a movie, visual effects and all that. A whole movie? Yeah, I don't know about a whole movie. Yeah, that 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 was weird. I, I always say like, they go like, well, what innovations? Like what? And I always go like, it's basically the same technology that the weatherman uses, you know, like <laughs> when he, you know when he stands in front of the green screen and says like, "Oh, the front's coming in from the north." You know, it's literally, yeah, it's literally the same. It's literally the same technology, you know, as a uh, as a because look, that guy, easily you could put like the weather behind that guy right there, and it'd mm-hmm. be the same. That's my oh, that's Eli. That's my son. Oh uh, wow, he's now making movies. He was the second unit director on Rebel Moon. Oh, that's so cool. <laughs> yeah, he's. He also plays the young Rorschach in uh, in um, Watchmen. In Watchmen, really? yeah, wow. like the, ba- the baby Rorschach, yeah.